legs. Uh, as of right now, most of the muscles in my legs are working. Long range goals. Just look for achievable goals. As long as you do that. But I need to uh, do more physical therapy before I'll know if I'll walk. Stop. I can't. God. I had a lot of anger at Craig. God. God, I can't walk. Then sit down. I don't want to sit down. I got to do this. For me? No, for myself. Just getting into the reality that there was that, there was that good possibility I'd never walk again. So I was 15 years old, April 20th of 99. I was a freshman and I was shot six times in total. Everyone would always ask me, do you have any questions? And I, same question every time because nobody gave me a direct answer. And it was, am I gonna walk again? They can never tell me, yes, you're gonna walk again or no, you're not. So I made it my goal. Sean Thomas. Graves. I made graduation my end date, that I was going to retire that wheelchair. I was nervous. Um, I was up on stage, and I had it all planned out in my mind. And I've practiced it on my own, in my bedroom, standing up from my bed, over and over and over, trying to make sure that I had it down pat. Sean Thomas Graves. I was trying to prove a point that if you put your mind to it, you can achieve anything. When I accepted my diploma, you to leave CHS, continue to dream. I just, I, it's hard to explain. I just, I knew I, that goal's done. And at the same time, I didn't know what was next, but I, I knew I wasn't taking that wheelchair out. And, Against everyone's wishes, I walked out of there. You know, it's very rural. You know, everybody knows everybody. You have to because you run into everybody downtown <laughs> every day, so. How would I describe Ryan? Well, he's extremely positive, very competitive, and he just wants to excel. I always liked having the ball in my hands, playing ball. Ask him if he still loves the game of basketball. I know what his answer will be. I remember it was, it was a nice sunny day. We didn't have any school that day, and the, the car just it flipped. I blacked out. I woke up, and I was in a hospital bed. Let's see. He never been one to sit and sit still. He just always on the go doing something. Yeah, so this is our last picture of Ryan before he got hurt. I pulled up and the ambulance was already there. I said, where's Ryan? And he said he's in the ambulance. So I jumped in the ambulance and rode to the hospital with him. First thing he said to me is, Dad, I can't feel my legs. So four to three staples. That was to reconstruct his 12th vertebrae. We needed to learn how to get in and out of a car, even in and out of bed, getting dressed. You know, going in, we was, I was scared to death how, how we were going to do it, you know. My mom just said, you know, 
this guy who was shot six times was wanted to come talk to me. He was 15 when like he got hurt too. I said, all right, I'm like, yeah, let's go for it. So we went and talked to him and I think we were there for a good hour, hour and a half. And he asked, you know, how did you do it? I kind of explained to him, you know, you, just get, you gotta believe in yourself. So I remember when we left Craig that day that Sean was like, Ryan's not ready to hear what I have to say. And you know, he's, he's just, he's, it's too new. We knew that he was starting to get some feeling back. And he said, maybe I'll be like Sean. When I turned senior, I was like, all right, well, this, this could be possible, you know, I could, I could do this, I could do it, you know, Sean did it, why can't I? I don't know if many people knew he was going to do it. I knew it was very important to him. I was up very early that morning because I couldn't sleep. And then about eight o'clock, the phone rang, and I saw it was from Ryan. But I was like, I, I wanna do this, can you help me? <laughs> and he just matter-of-factly said, listen, we talked to school and to let me do this, if we could have somebody help me backstage, put my braces on, and then be there with me on the stage. A special moment that I'll never, ever forget. Ryan A. Tyler. And it was instant. It was very special. He just said, are you ready for this? And I said, yeah, I think so. It's one of those moments in your life you can't ever duplicate because of all the emotion and all the work. Just for that one step, it will stay with me forever. Somehow my mother-in-law had a client from Nebraska who had a newspaper and happened to come across an article. And sure enough, at graduation, he got out of his wheelchair and he walked. In the article, he said it was because of a visit um, that he got inspired, it was from me, and he gave me credit for him having the courage to do that. I carried that article around in my wallet for years, actually. It was a somber reminder of, of where I came from and the fact that I always told myself that if I could... Sean Thomas Graves. If I could help just one person, then, you know, it was all for, it was all worth it.